It's film room time, and I'm Brian Johannes, and on this episode, we're going to take a look at Clemson quarterback Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence, since he made his debut, has been the number one quarterback. Everyone's been waiting for him to become draft eligible. Um, he's won a national championship, played in another, got to you know a third straight playoff, and now he's ready to move on to the NFL. So in this, if you're not familiar with these uh, film room sessions, what I am going to do is I'm going to show you a variety of different uh, clips from games uh, just to kind of show you and highlight the type of player that Trevor Lawrence is. And I'll get into a comparison and kind of my projection moving forward with him in the NFL. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get started and let's uh, get into the game film. Now, we've all seen Trevor Lawrence go out and make plays, and that, that's the things that flash. And, and this play right here is, is one of my favorites. Right? As, as we see, Ohio State's going to come out and, and practically an all-out blitz. And through the process of this, he's going to have a free defender. Pete Warner right here is going to come free. I think he's, he's so free that he kind of hesitated because he expected to get blocked. Um, but Trevor Lawrence sees that happening, and he's able to get this throw off down the field for a catch and if you look at the end zone view right here the thing that really stands out is when trevor lawrence goes back and he sees that this guy's free he's able to get his feet quickly set now it's not perfect mechanics but he's able to get them in the right spot foot down hard and drive this ball down the field and put it right where only his receiver can get so not only not only did we see quick footwork but we also see under pressure, he's able to make an accurate, good ball placement throw to his receiver to go out and make that catch. Or in another example of Lawrence throwing under under pressure is here against Wake Forest. Um, the defender's going to come free, and he's able to, well, not off his back foot, but while under pressure, he's able to get this ball up and put it in a spot where his receiver's in a position to make that play. So as we see here once again, a defender coming free. He sees him. He knows where his receiver is going to be, and he puts it up in a spot, as I said, to make a play. This guy's wide open, but just ends up dropping it. Now, I wouldn't say Trevor Lawrence has a cannon for an arm. He doesn't have a Josh Allen-type arm where he can throw it 100 yards, sitting down, whatever it may be. But he's got a strong enough arm to put the ball into tight windows. And on this throw here, he's going to get the ball... Uh, to this receiver who's going to end up kind of curling around. And as he makes this throw, there's defender one right there, defender two right there. And as they react, he's able to put this ball in a line and split both defenders to make that throw. So he doesn't have the huge cannon, but the arm is strong enough that he can fit the ball into a tight window. Another thing that really impresses me about Trevor Lawrence is just his ability to throw with touch. It's one thing to, to throw into a tight window on a line. It's another thing to kind of throw to an area. But his ability to throw with touch. And he's going to make a throw over to his left. And as we watch this play, the ball's going to be coming into this defender and, or this receiver. And he's got a defender right here that he's got to get the ball over to. And he's just able to go up make that throw it drops over the defender into his receiver to make that catch for a nice little chunk gain as we see here once again just that ability to throw that touch drop it in there i know it's not like the defender was just right on his um receiver but just that you know some guys will just try to rifle it in there and that ball gets deflected or it's off and he's just able to kind of drop it in another example of his touch is on this touchdown throw to his right just once again dropping it over the defenders into his tight end in the back of the end zone. Doesn't have to be on a line. It's not a big high arcing ball. Just just dropped right over the defenders and into his receiver. One of the things that really stands out to me about Trevor Lawrence is his ability to throw with anticipation. And, and knowing when he's gonna, that receiver is going to be open and, and getting the ball out before or while those receivers are in their breaks because... When you get to the NFL, you can't necessarily see guys get open and then throw. The, the defender's already there. So a lot of quarterbacks have to develop that anticipation. And a guy like Trevor Lawrence, he's already got it. 
And he's got some of the best anticipation I've ever seen scouting prospects in the last 10 to 11 years. And on this throw, he's going to throw it to this, this receiver, Cornell Powell, running a post corner. And as if we watch this, the ball comes out right here. And Powell's just starting to make his cut back out. So if we watch this again, he's going to run this. If we watch the receiver, he's going to run the post and then the corner. But the ball's coming out as he's starting, not even starting to make that, that cut back out. It's just a nice, easy, wide-open throw because of that anticipation. As we see it here, just knows when the timing's there. He knows where he's going to be, just puts it on a dime. Another example of his anticipation is over here. It's deep hook. Receiver's going to start coming, and that ball... So he's breaking here and he's going to come back. As we see this ball, he's throwing the ball and he is still making his cut and hasn't even turned back. And he's able to just turn around and make that catch. And that's the thing that really separates Trevor Lawrence to me. is It's not like when I'm watching quarterbacks, they tend to make these anticipation throws. As we see on this out route, the ball is out. He's making his throw, and this, this receiver hasn't even broken out yet. And usually you see quarterbacks, they make a couple of these a game, and you have to kind of really watch for it. Every single one of Trevor Lawrence's throws in, this, in, in, in the games that I've watched, he's thrown with anticipation. So his grasp and understanding of that is at such a high level already coming out of college before he even hits the NFL. And another one more example of that, once again, ball out, quick on the out route. And as you see right here, ball's coming out. He's just, you know, he's coming and making that, you know, just makes it a nice, easy throw for the first down. And as I said, just the ability to have this already and just be such a natural thing is going to make it so much easier as he transitions into the NFL and is ready to start day one. You know, he's going to be able to come in and have this in his his arsenal right away. Now, it's one thing to be able to have a strong enough arm to, to, to split defenders or to throw with good anticipation. But another trait that you want out of the elite quarterbacks is the, the ability to read defenses and, uh, in essence, manipulate them too. And on this play, we're going to see that with Trevor Lawrence. And his key is going to be this safety, the left safety right here. He's going to watch this safety, and depending on what this safety does, it, it, it determines his read. If the safety comes out, he's going to throw it to the middle. If his safety goes in, he's got the defender coming out. So as we watch this play, he's keying this safety. The safety reads the tight end. The tight end's coming free, so he has to go that way. And because he starts to make that move, then, then the next key is this receiver down here. And he's able to turn and make this out route right there. And we'll see it from the end zone view. He's staring. You can tell. He's staring at that safety. He's watching him. What is he going to do? Is he going to pick up this tight end? As he picks up the tight end, his eyes quickly go right to the left. And he's able to make that throw on the out route for the, the first down. And then on this play, we see him, uh, he's going to be able to manipulate the defense. He's going to have his receiver come deep on this, this, this drag route across the field, but he needs the safety to stay put. And so he is going to use his eyes to manipulate the safety to keep him going, keep him back deep, which allows his receiver then to run past the defender, and he's able to then make the throw to him uh, for the catch. As we see from the end zone view, once again, he's using his eyes, using his eyes, keeping the safety there, and then able to make that throw. And lastly, to be, to be successful in today's NFL, you've got to be a good athlete. And, I mean, you don't necessarily have to be Lamar Jackson. You don't have to be that elite speed type guy. But you got to be able to move around in the pocket. you got to avoid defenders. And Trevor Lawrence has that ability. Despite him being six foot five, six foot six, 240, 250 pounds, he is a good athlete. Now, we're going to see that here. And he gets used on the run at times. And this is going to be a designed run to his left off the zone read. 
And here's the free defender. And he, the play is for him to run out, but this defender cuts him off. And just look at this quick change of direction lateral cut to get the ball upfield and make that play. And just that ability to kind of put up, just that quick move, elude the defender. And I know this is the design run. He's not going to do a ton of that in the NFL, but it just showcases his ability to make quick changes that he could do in the pocket if a defender comes free and he's able to just make that move to get free and, and to maybe deliver the ball. And then this play is a great example of just the ability to move within the pocket. The pressure's gonna come off the edge. He sees that, he senses it. He's able to step up and move in the pocket to get into a throwing lane to hit that receiver. As you see here, he steps up and he finds this throwing lane knowing that he's got this receiver coming over and he's able to hit that without worrying about a defender getting their hand up. And just this ability not only to elude defenders with his feet, but just even find passing lanes despite being six foot six, just shows once again his total understanding of the position and what he needs to do to be successful. Overall, there is just a lot to really like about Trevor Lawrence as it relates to him being an NFL draft prospect. Um, as I said, he is one of the best prospects that we've seen come out since Andrew Luck. And I know it's it's very tough to say that because Andrew Luck is a guy that's, that's a borderline Hall of Famer and very well could be a Hall of Famer. And it's really tough to compare prospects to that. But there's so much that I see in it. It's not just like, hey, he's the best prospect that we've had since Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck is my comparison to him. They're both big quarterbacks. You know, Andrew Luck, six foot four, six foot five. Trevor Lawrence is listed at six foot six. He might be six foot five. Um, so he's got the height. He's got the body, you know, similar body size where they're about 240, 250. And then they're both better athletes than you see. You know, Trevor Lawrence was used quite a bit as a runner. At, you know, not running a ton of times, but Clemson would run him, especially in, in bigger games. And Andrew Luck didn't do that, but we saw in the NFL, we saw at times at Stanford, when he needed to run and he needed to move, he was a better athlete than people gave him credit for. Um, so, you, you know, once again, you've got just the mental, the understanding of the mental side of the game, you know, the strong arm, but not elite arm. There's just so many things that these two guys have that are so similar that that I think that comp for me was such a, as soon as I started watching and breaking down Trevor Lawrence, Andrew Luck is exactly this prospect that I, that I saw right there. Now, Trevor Lawrence is my number one rated quarterback. He's my number one overall player in this draft. He's going to be the number one overall pick in the NFL going to Jacksonville. I'm going to work with Urban Meyer. I like that fit. Urban Meyer has had success in college with, Quarterbacks like, you know, the pocket quarterback. So I think they're going to have success there. Um, Lawrence has got guys like DJ Chark, D.D. Westbrook. They'll probably add another couple guys here and there. But he's got a weapon. DJ Chark can be a number one receiver in the NFL. Um, he's not going to be your elite Antonio Brown, Stephon Diggs, you know, elite elite guys. But um, he's he's got a, you know, he's a good NFL receiver. And so... Um, I think the key to him having success is staying healthy, having some protection up front. But Trevor Lawrence has everything that you want and everything that you need to have success in this, in this league. And I think he's a guy that has Pro Bowl, All Pro potential. And uh, depending on the fit, you know, Andrew Luck went to an organization that was built for success and he was able to carry them and, and turn that All Pro and Pro Bowl type talent into potentially the Hall of Fame. Now, I'm not going to say Trevor Lawrence is Hall of Fame potential right now. I'm not going to say that. But like I said, I think he's got all pro potential. And I think how, you know, how he uses that potential, how he fits with his team, um, he's got the, you know, he's got a shot. And so I really like him. I loved watching him. And I think he has everything that you want out of an NFL quarterback. That's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this episode of The Film Room. Uh, the best way to get these is to go to the YouTube page and subscribe. You, you subscribe, you get all the notifications of when the new videos, especially the film rooms, are out. Uh, so make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, also follow me on social media. Twitter is probably the main spot to do that. Draft underscore Brian on Twitter. 
Um, that's the, the main hub of where I send out my, um, my materials and, and give thoughts and post other videos, so on and so forth. Um, Instagram.com slash draft underscore Brian. Uh, make sure you check me out on there. That's um, that's going to all my scouting reports are going to be. So you got the video scouting report here of Andrew Luck. You'll have kind of a written up one there with some graphics. So check that out. Um, Facebook.com. If you're a Facebook per person, um, another spot similar to my Twitter. Going to be posting out lots of different links to all my different articles, all my different videos, all of that. Uh, so make sure you're checking those out. TikTok, I'm on there as well. Um, putting some of my favorite clips to music so check those out as well but thanks for listening hope you enjoyed and until next time